so that the church would still be bound or still act in a Cretan culture where they were seen as liars, deceivers, bad people. No, he said, speak in authority, let no one disregard you. When those come against you and don't want to be submissive to God, they don't want to live out the gospel or make it appealing, don't let them. So we, as the body of Christ, have to live saved if we're saying we're being saved. That means we have to act it out. I want to challenge you guys today to sit back and think for a moment. Where are you saying that you're saved and you're living in an opposite manner? Where are you saying that you're free from your sin, yet when you talk to people about your before Christ times, you're telling them how awesome it was when you were partying and drinking and having sex and doing drugs and all this stuff. No, because if we've been set free from that, why would we ever want to be tied or bound to that again? So my challenge for you today is very simple. Where in your life are you saying you're saved and acting like you're not? I'm going to pray. God, thank you for your word. I pray, Lord, that you would continue to speak even after this message. That what you have said, what you have spoken, would carry on, God. And more importantly, Lord, that we would understand that we are under your authority as your slaves, under your bond servants, and that we would be submissive to your will. That we would be well-pleasing and not argumentative. And that we would show your gospel in an appealing way so that we, as the body, could draw in more people to your Bible and your kingdom. In your name we pray, God. Amen. Amen.